Hello everyone and welcome back to another snail mail episode here on the Pixel Biology community channel and I am very excited to dig through the letters that you guys have sent my way this week. It is always like Christmas every single time. So this week we have quite a few letters. We've got several from people. I think I recognize some of these names. I think I know some of you guys who have sent something our way. And we have a package from the wonderful Katie who actually sent me that amazing birthday box full of all sorts of delicious chocolate and this amazing tiny hat. For those of you guys who didn't see it, this is the tiny hat that Katie of Katie's Tiny Hats made for me with finches and with the YouTube button and my wolves and the zoo and there's there's, look at the little cats, and here are actually the plorts. And by the way, yes, one of these plorts, the phosphor plort, uh, actually gently glows in the dark, which is really, really, really fun. So this is my tiny hat. I just don't have it on at the moment because Chips isn't home and I need help getting it back out of my hair because my hair is so long, but it is adorable. And so Katie has sent another thing and we're gonna be looking at that last. I hope you can hang in there, Katie, because uh, your package is just so big and I like putting like the big ones at the end because it's so much fun. But yeah, so we've got some amazing letters from you guys from all over the country. It looks like mostly Inside the United States, Indianapolis, Wyoming, there's Missouri, here's uh, Wisconsin. So yeah, it looks like it's from mostly with inside the United States this week. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive on in and see what you guys have sent our way. Oh, and here's a butterfly and happy Easter. Look at this. So who do we have here? From Charlie in Georgia, I think that is. So I think that name rings a bell. So let's go ahead and see what's hiding in here today. <laughs> this is always so exciting. All right, so, all right, what do we have? We've got, it looks like, ooh, what's this? I see color. I see lots of color. There's so much to do in the zoo. I need to like frame that and put it on my wall because it is so true. There always is so much to do in the zoo. And look at that, the snake is the little S. Oh, that's so fun. And the little exclamation point is a flower and a vine. And the little O is a ladybug. Fun fact, I'm actually pretty addicted to Miraculous Ladybug right now. I really hope I can get my cousins in on it because uh, I think it's really, really cute. Oh my goodness. All right, Charlie, let's see. Oh, ooh, here's the nice handwriting again. All right. Oh, oh here's some luck. <gasps> you guys, look. It's a birthday. It says happy birthday. Here's some luck. It's a four-leaf clover. I have never in my life had a four-leaf clover. Where am I going to put this? I'm going to put it with my squicken. My squicken from Pavo is now going to have, like, the four-leaf clover with him. I wonder if that means our squicken are going to, like, clone themselves some more in zoo crafting if I combine these powers together. <laughs> oh, who knows? Oh, that would be so fun. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to show chips. I have never had a four-leaf clover. My dad finds them all the time, but, like, I've never had one. That is so cool. All right. Read this aloud if you would like. So, oh, yeah. See, I knew I had seen you before, Charlie. All right, so, and then, oh, Jerry the Giraffe, there's Jerry the Giraffe on the back. Hang on, I gotta show you guys this. So here's Jerry the Giraffe. I'm gonna put that right there so I can look at him while I read. And then, do do um, do do do. All right, dear Siri, hey, it's Charlie again. How is life? Mine is good. I have some some suggestions for your world. You may or may not like them. Number one, if you like giraffe, uh, I know you like giraffes, so I thought you might want to name one Jerry. I don't know why you would want to name a giraffe Jerry, but I just thought it sounded cool. Jerry the giraffe. Number two, this idea would be for everyone on the server too. Every time you catch a butterfly and it goes into a jar, you get a point. Ooh, that would be a fun way to do like a butterfly hunt, wouldn't it? Ooh, I like this idea. At the end of the month, the person with the most points tells their person of choice to do a chore or anything they want they uh, th that they don't want to do just for fun though that's a really cool idea I'm gonna have to tell that to the other zoo crafters that we could do like some sort of monthly competition like that that actually sounds really fun oh my goodness the last suggestion idea. The Little Chips Factory has one thing that they worship more than chocolate, the cookie chicken. Uh, it is in a safe room with all sorts of cookies on the walls and pretty much everyone. The chips will do anything to make sure that the Easter bunnies never find out how their chocolate is made. I like that idea. The little chips and like the Easter bunny rabbits from the Easter bunny factory and zoo crafting could totally end up with this really cool rivalry. I think that would be really fun. These were just some suggestions I thought would be cool. Please ask uh, your many other subscribers if these are good ideas. Your subscriber, Charlie M. So thank you so much, Charlie. I think those are amazing ideas. If those spark ideas for you guys, please share them because that's what, that's the whole point of doing snail mail videos. It's the whole point of getting a, a 
PO Box is to share awesome ideas like this. And I'm going to share these with the other Zoo Crafters, Charlie, because I really like the idea, especially of having some sort of monthly competition. And whoever wins could, like, get something. We all have to contribute something to the, to the pot, maybe. Like, everybody has to donate a diamond or donate something valuable. And, and then the winner gets it at the end of the month. We'll have to look into that. And then it looks like we've got some fan art here. Oh, get in the net. Why can't I catch you? This is from when I was chasing the butterflies. Look at all that color and how pretty it is. Oh, look, it's my Minecraft arm waving the butterfly net around. That is so fun. Charlie, I absolutely love that. Thank you so much. That is going to be a lot of fun to share with everyone. It brings a lot of great ideas up, so I hope it inspires you guys to give some pretty cool suggestions, too. All right, and this one's from Wisconsin. Oh, look, I'm on the back, and it looks like I have Noodle Doodles the cat with me, and my birds, and flowers, and there's one of our dogs. Oh, let's see what's hiding in here for us. All right, very gently. Don't tear the images, okay? All right, all right. So we have some paper. Let's open it up. All right, what do we have? Oh, my gosh, <laughs> look how much it is. Oh, my goodness. Dear Siri, my name is Kara H10 going on the love and I'm a newer subscriber and would love to see a vlog or something about animals that you or darling have. Uh, oh, happy late birthday. And that is so cool. So I do have a lot of older vlogs about my animals in like the updates and vlogs playlist. If you go to the main page and go all the way down to the very bottom of our main page, you can find like 77 something ridiculous amount of vlogs of just like being out in nature, out at zoos, out in parks. Um, but I will start my, I'm like have a vlog channel that's going to be started back up too. So if you guys want to go check on that, then I'm going to start posting like a lot of random videos. These guys are bathing right now because I just changed their water. So random videos of the birds bathing, having a good time. I'll bring out my geckos and get some videos with them when the light is good. Um, they're nocturnal, so that's why it's a little harder to film with them because I hate waking them up in the middle of the day, which is like their sleep time. But you know, I'll do some videos with them. Um, yeah, I would love to share that. And then maybe I can snuggle with some of uh, my darling's um, wonderful cats. He doesn't have any cats here. We don't have any right now, especially because we're planning on traveling to Asia for like months at a time uh, next year. But um, yeah, we run into a lot of cats. There's a lot of family cats. So I would love to share them with you, Kara. And I am very happy to hear you want to see them. All right. I've seen your snail mails and I always wanted to write. And look, I have. Uh, sorry for the bad handwriting and spelling. You are so fine. Don't worry. I used to be a teacher of elementary school kids. So you learn to read like everything and just appreciate the message that's there. And you're doing great, Kara. So don't worry. I wish you would make at least every uh, other day Warrior Cats episode, but it's up to us. And yes, we do have Warrior Cats every day so far. It is one of our new daily series, and I am trying so hard to keep it there. Uh, every now and then I might miss an episode, but then you know I'm sick. So check my Twitter to see if I'm sick or not. And to that, I love you. Uh, love and joy, Cora. Oh, Cora, all right. P.S. Crowfeather is in the Warrior Cats book, and how do you get Wolf Quest? Wolf Quest, you can find the link to download the demo and to buy it if you would like it in the 2.7 Wolf Quest video. So if you go into the video description, you'll find the link there. And I didn't know Crowfeather was actually in the books until after I started the series, and that's actually a name the random generator that like randomly makes the Warrior Cats names for us gave me, so I feel a little embarrassed that he's actually there. But we have done very well, and here is Moss Leaf and Lion Star. Look at those two. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, thank you so much. That's beautifully done. I love how people have really started to draw a lion star with a star on his forehead. I hadn't thought about that. And people have started to draw, draw a branch star with the star on his forehead, too. It really helps to differentiate them. So thank you so much, Cora. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And oh my goodness, there's a baby giraffe trio going on down here. Look at this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and I'm pretty sure this is somebody we've gotten some mail from in St. Louis before. All right, and we have so many cute things. Baby Giraffe Trio, I Heart, Baby Giraffe Trio, Warrior Cats, and 101 Dalmatians. So much to do in the zoo. Happy birthday. All right, I'm going to very carefully open this so I, I hopefully don't tear the baby giraffes because these are adorable. When you guys draw on the back like this, oh no, I think I tore a baby drop, I'll fix it, I promise. When you guys draw on the back like this, I do try to keep the envelopes too, and our big scrapbooks full of awesomeness that keep all of your fan art and all of your letters. All right, there's that, good. I'm gonna very carefully seal it back up so the drafts are repaired. There we go, it's like new. <laughs> all right, we've got some stuff, and I'm pretty sure this is a repeat offender here, so let me see. 
Let me see, let me see, maybe, maybe. All right, Luxio, Ash, Pikachu. Please do more Pixelmon. We've got more requests of Pixelmon coming on in. Um, but Pokefan, yeah, Pokefan, 1124. I knew I recognized you, all right. All right, so Pokefan has sent some things in and she actually has an intern that is going to be showing up in the Red Wolves very, very soon. So that's gonna be fun. All right, okay, good. Dear Siri, hi, it's me again, Pokefan1124, and it's pronou pronounced Poka as in Pokemon, and then Fan1124. So last time, yep, the tree and the NPC, which is coming on up, let's see. Okay, mm -hmm, I won't read that part out loud, don't worry. Um, oh, so I know a few weeks ago you went to St. Louis Zoo, and I wanted to share some pictures with you, and here are some... Uh, let's see, does it continue? Sorry, I get carried away. I hope you enjoy the pictures. And I added some drawing. Uh, there's two. Hope you enjoy from Pokefan1124. So here are some pictures. And I wonder, are these from all from the St. Louis Zoo? I'm looking. I recognize that. Maybe this very well may all be from the St. Louis Zoo, you guys, because I recognize a lot of this. I do. That is so fun. How many of you guys have been to the St. Louis Zoo? Because I have to say, so far, it is 100% my favorite zoo. And Pokefan, you are so lucky that you live near there because it's free and you can just go to it any time and it is beautiful. It is really beautiful. I love it. I really love it. Oh my goodness. And I'm so excited. I can't wait to put you on it. It's going to be very, very fun. And let me see what other pictures we have in here. Oh, look at this. It's a bunch of babies. It's big cats with their cubs. Look at that. Lions, there's a lynx or a bobcat, there's cheetahs, there's tigers. Oh, that's beautifully done. Oh, that's so lovely. And then we have a spaceship. So, do you like space too? This is so cool. And there is a spaceship headed off into the atmosphere. Thank you so much, Pokefan. I am so excited. We have your beautiful tree, and we're going to have you in the world pretty soon too. So, that's going to be very exciting. And oh my goodness, this is a very, very detailed. I cannot. I'm so embarrassed because I can't pronounce this. I know what this is. This this is a plant that's really awesome and it smells like rotten meat. And you guys probably have heard about this plant because it's so distinctive that they talk about it a lot in different science classes. But this is that rotten meat, um, man, and even in beautiful, beautiful, beautiful handwriting right there. Oh, this is that rotten meat plant. <laughs> I can't remember the name. So this is from Mandy, and I'm going to very carefully open this so I don't tear the beautiful drawing. The detail on that just blows my mind. But yeah, this is from Mandy, so I'm gonna see which Mandy this is from, because we have a few Mandys in the community, some of whom have really reached out and been fantastic. And I'm going to see if this is the Mandy I'm thinking of. And if not, you're still an amazing Mandy, so let's see. Dear Siri, Maple Ridge Zoo wishes you a green and glorious spring. Our investors at the Blue Fang Foundation are pleased to work with... Oh my goodness. So this is fun. Oh my goodness. Our investors at the Blue Fang Foundation are pleased with your work at your World Zoo facilities. And the founder of Maple Ridge Zoo congratulates you on your success so far in building your island park. So this is a in-character message that's amazing for our Zoo Tycoon 2 Island Park Zoo. And if I ever have been inspired to load up a game as soon as I'm done with this and post a bonus episode. That is what this is doing right now. This is amazing. I don't think I've ever had like an in-character message like this before. Happy spring. Keep up the wonderful work. Sincerely, Administrator Mandy. Oh my gosh, Mandy. And there's more beautiful flowers on the bottom there. Okay. I, can't, I think there's going to be a bonus like tribute video to Mandy going up tonight if I do everything uh, correct. So we'll have to see if I can manage that. Oh my gosh, Maple Ridge Zoo. You are kidding me. Oh my gosh. This is pretty. This is stunningly beautiful. Look at all of this. Look at all of this. Wow. Wow. Look at the elephant ears. Look at these elephant ears. I demand you look at these elephant ears. Look at this trap. Oh my gosh. You are an amazing artist, Mandy. You are an amazing illustrator. You are amazing. This is, yeah. I, man. And I have been just thinking, I do so many videos. Maybe no more Zoo Crafty or Zoo Tycoon 2. And, oh my goodness. 
see, it's this kind of stuff. It's this work. It's this inspiration that will spur me in. Your kindness, your excitement, everything that will spur me into making extra videos. Because it's extra work, but to know that you guys are this inspired. Look at the, I mean, look at the tree. I'm going to make you guys look at it again because it's amazing. Look at that. Mandy, thank you so much. I cannot even put into words just how excited and inspired this kind of stuff makes me. And you can be assured that I will do my best to try to get some extra Zoo Tycoon 2 videos up just to keep it going because I know so many of you guys miss it. And to see that kind of response to the inspiration and your engagement with like Zoo Tycoon 2 itself, that's amazing! Of course I want to participate in that! So that's awesome! Thank you so much, Mandy! I've got like, oh, man, that really, that got me all excited. All right. And then Kimberly from California, I just have to say, like, and not in a creepy way because I won't tell people what it is, but the number on your address is kind of amazing. That is kind of amazing. So Kimberly from California with an amazing address number uh, has sent in a letter to you. So let's go ahead and crack it open. Oh gosh, I'm still like, that was a lot of color. That was a lot of color. Oh my goodness, that was very exciting. All right, and let's see what's going on down here. So from Kimberly. From Kimberly, and we have some pieces of paper here. Let's go ahead and see if the letter is ready to go. Is this a letter or it is? Woo! Oh, it has happy birthdays on the bottom. Oh, look at that. Happy birthday, Siri. Paw prints and flowers. That's so fun. All right. Dear Siri, I really, really love your Wolf Quest and Star Stable videos. Wolves and horses are two of my most favorite animals. After watching and playing Star Stable and Wolf Quest myself, I was inspired to create my own stories. My favorite wolf is Rain, because even though she doesn't have a lot of speed or stamina, she never gives up. I think Rose Stone is a really pretty horse. There are many amazing horses in Star Stable. There's even a UFO crash site in Star Stable. I've seen it somewhere in the mountains, between the very top of Silverglade and Golden Hills Valley. You just need to look very hard to find it. That would be really cool. Okay, we're going to have to see if we can find it too. I have watched all of your Wolf Quest and Star Stable videos, and I think they're amazing. I hope you have a great day, and happy birthday. Hashtag animals rock. So thank you so much. Thank you. I am so glad you are enjoying our Star Stable videos. It is always so much fun to be able to dive into that. There's always so much going on. And I was really sad that I missed so many of the events, the Easter event, and I wasn't able to get the clover that I wanted to put on the butt of my horse, which sounds silly, but it would have been so cute. But yeah, I am going to be hopefully keeping on top of the events in the future. And I am really excited to hear that we still have some very strong Wolf Quest love. I can't believe after like 160 episodes, generation upon generation of Wolves and Wolf Quest, there's there's still so much amazing support for it. So thank you so much. And look at this. It's me with my little finch. And then we've also got, I'm assuming, rose stone and rain right here. That is beautifully done. Look at those lines. Look at the detail of the hibiscus and my buttons. I love details. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. And then we've got some more art right over here. Oh, we've got a lot of art. It just like unopens and then there's more and more. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys, hang in there. I think we've got some awesome fan art coming up. Oh, here's Rose Stone. All right. So here's our beautiful Rose Stone looking fantastic and gorgeous. I need to get her a flower to go in her hair because that would be way cool. And I know you can actually find those somewhere in Star Stable. And then here we have the Bear Butt Biting Legacy. There's Atlas and his daughter Rain and her daughter Misty. They really are. The Bear Butt Biting Legacy in the Stormy Skies is definitely one of my favorite wolf packs in Wolf Quest. It, it really, really is. All right, and then what else do we have here? I'm, it's really exciting. You're like, you never know what you're gonna find inside. All right, the strongest pack. Oh, it's an award, look at this. The strongest pack, Moon Dancer and Nyx. Plus, uh, Pups, Blaze, Comet, Ember, Stella, Altier, Celine, Dipper, Moonlight, Lunala, Astrid, Andromeda, and Stardance. And they did have, that is the strongest pack we have ever had in Wolf Quest. They didn't lose a single pup. They did great. They survived even on the Bring It On. They racked up ancestry challenges left and right. It was fantastic. You guys should definitely go check out Moon Dancer and her mate Nyx in their arc in our Wolf Quest series if you haven't, because they were, they were fantastic. Oh, and then we've got the pups. So here's Lunala and her mate Copper playing with their pups at the family den, the traditional den of the moon pack, which so far has proven
determined to be a pretty safe place for the puppies to play. So thank you so much. I am so glad to see some Wolf Quest support, Wolf Quest happiness. That's always awesome. And I will do my best to try to make sure that Lunala and try to make sure that Misty continue to have fantastic puppies and families. All right, and this one says, please open and read on camera from Magdalene. Magdalene, I think, in Pennsylvania, I think. All right, so I'm gonna very carefully open this on camera as requested. All right, I said carefully, but the tape kind of caught it. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. It's beautiful tape too, it's flower tape. Oh goodness. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we have in here. Ooh, you guys, I think I see a kitty cat. Is this a kitty cat? Okay, let's see what this says. All right, all right, all right. Dear Siri, please read on camera. I have been watching your videos for two years and six months. Oh my gosh, well hi! I'm so glad we've been sharing adventures together that long. That is a long time. I started reading the Warrior Cats books because of your Warrior Cats Sims 3 series, and I hope you like the pictures I made for you. My friend also watches your videos. There is a pair of hummingbirds in my backyard. I named them after you, Siri and Chip. Oh my gosh, thank you! That's so exciting! Chips will be really happy to hear that there's a hummingbird named after him. Fun fact, every single night we check on explore.org's Bella the Hummingbird, and we see how Bella and Rosie are doing, because they like constantly have baby hummingbirds that are on a live camera that you can see. It's really cool. I have a trampoline and it is spider season right now, so I'm not going on my trampoline until summer so they don't get hurt. That is really cool. Oh my goodness. Magdalene, Maggie, it says AKA Maggie at the bottom. Thank you so much, because a lot of people would be like, just kill the spiders, but it's nice to know that you kind of just let them do their own thing for a little while. Uh, I forgot to say I'm 13 years old. I already have sent something to you. Please finish coloring the bird picture. I found your channel when I was looking at Zoo Tycoon 2 series and found the first video you do of your Zoo Tycoon 2 series and became your intern. I now have a channel, but you'll never really find it. I would love if you could show each cat's background from the Warrior Cat series that are in Moss Clan or will be in Branch Clan. Hunting out... Uh, uh, hunting out your intern, Mag Magdalene, aka Maggie. P.S. Spider season is when spiders live on my trampoline net. That's really fun. Oh, Maggie, that is so cool. And I do plan on doing some special videos that will kind of like focus on the background of all of our cats in both Moss Clan and Branch Clan. They're going to be probably like all cutscene and like no, no like third person view. So it's going to take me a little while to write them and I'm not sure how long they'll be, but it'll just kind of give you guys the back, um, background of all of them. And I I think that you'll really enjoy it. All right, and I just got water tossed down my back from my birds. That's really funny. So you might be able to go back and pause and see a water drop go down my back because there's some more. <laughs> so my birds are bathing in the bath. If you see anything, don't panic. All right, and speaking of birds, we have this beautiful drawing. I would really love to finish that. That will be fun. Beautiful bird coloring and then lion star and moss leaf. Oh, and then honey wish. Lion star and moss leaf sitting together. Honey wish over here all by herself. It is so sad. If only she had spoken up sooner. You can't just expect your crush to be able to read your mind, especially when he has such a thick brain as Lion Star does. And then we have Moss Leaf of the Moss Clan. Absolutely beautiful. And then back here we have Dogaze, the Moss Clan medicine cat. Oh, she's looking good before all of her scars that she got from the dog fights. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, Maggie, thank you so much. And I cannot believe that we have actually been like together and sharing adventures for over two years now. That is just so cool. That is just always so amazing to me. <sighs> All right, so let's see. We have Vanessa from Utah, where a lot of my family happens to live. And I will never forget riding horses on the mountain in Utah. That was really, really fun. The fields were just blooming full of flowers. The horses were really cool. And what do we have here? All right. So, and this is from Vanessa. And we've got some things right here. So let's read the little letter and see what it says. All right. It would be awesome if you could show this on camera. Thanks. And I'm getting more water thrown down my back. So if you guys are watching, you may see water get tossed on me. That's kind of hilarious. Dear Siri, hi, I'm very excited to be writing you. My name is Vanessa and I'm 11 years old. I love animals and hope to have a profession with them. I really love your Star Stable and Wolf Quest. You are just so fun to watch. I currently own two guinea pigs, two dogs, and a rabbit. My favorite color is purple. Also, what are my favorite colors? My favorite color is green, purple, and blue. <laughs> I like many colors. 
I love to draw and I love reading. Speaking of reading, I love to read Warriors. I've read 30 books in this series so far. I would also love to catch up on your Warriors video soon. I've been very busy lately. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Bye from Vanessa. PPS, uh, PSS, I hope you enjoy my art. PS, I know it's quite late for this, but happy birthday. And thank you so much, Vanessa. Oh my goodness, it's so much fun to share like a passion for reading with everybody and just share the Warrior Cat series with everyone. That is amazing. All right, so let's see what we've got going on here. Very gently. It's Rosestone! It's Rosestone! Our beautiful horse. Beautiful, beautiful horse. And Thistledown! Ah, oh, Thistledown, our bunny from the Star Stable series. And here on the back is Mossley from the Warrior Cat series. I really hope you are going to be enjoying the Warrior Cat series. I have to admit, Vanessa, I'm pretty proud of how it's turned out. And I'm reading the books. I'm currently reading, um, like, The Prophecy Begins, the third book already. Um, I, guess, I think it's like the fourth or fifth series, like third book. I've been going through them really fast so I can try to catch up on like what's going on so our stories can be really fun too. And they're bathing, so if I get like a bunch of water tossed on me, you know where it's come from, or it came from. All right, and then another picture. Oh, Vanessa, thank you so much. This is so pretty. And we have two left. So we've got Henry's letter, and Henry from, I think, Indianapolis. I'm going to have to look into that. Probably No, Indiana. <laughs> Why did I say Indianapolis? That's not a state. Oh my goodness, that's so silly. All right, so I'm going to open this from Henry, and then we've got Katie's package after this, and then we will be done. Ooh, what's going on in here? What is this? There's a glint of gold. There's gold inside of here. Henry, you have sent me treasure. Hang on now. Oh, Oh, it's a it's a chocolate, it's a gold coin, a gold chocolate coin. Oh, that's so fun. It looks like it's an Easter thing. Henry, did you send me an Easter gift? That is so sweet of you. Dear Siri, I am eight years old, but you are awesome. I am from uh, Munich, I think, yeah. I have been watching your birthday snail mail, and zoo crafting is my daily list. Uh, Pew Pew, uh, Pet Power, there we go. Sincerely, Henry. And then we've got Agent Noodles and Persephone and Tate Fishing. Oh, <laughs> this is so cute. So we have Tate Fishing over here, and then this one's like, oh, brothers. And then over here, we've got Agent Noodles and Persephone, very happy with each other. They need to open their noodle shop soon so that they can retire and go happily off into the distance. And then, um,. What animals do you love in Zoo Tycoon 2, says the back. And of course, Zoe, oh, Zoe, my Great Dane is added in. So here's Zoe, my Great Dane at the back. Here's a bunch of peafowl. Oh my gosh, is this a rhinoceros? That looks like a rhinoceros. Lion, elephant, giraffe. I love giraffes. Oh, Henry, thank you so much. This is wonderfully done. This is so sweet. Look at all those hearts. Look at all those hearts. That's so sweet. Thank you so much, Henry. I am so glad you enjoy our series. I'm so glad you enjoy the adventures. And I am so glad that you are the same age as my cousin, actually. So eight years old. That's how old my co one of my cousins is. Oh, gosh. I remember when she was like 13 months old. Oh, that makes you feel old. All right. And then we got this final package. And this is from Katie, as you can see. And it, it was really cute because Chips walked in the door with the mail today. And he held it up. And I was like, that's Katie because I could see the drawing on the back. And look at that, we've got the adorable cat. Look at him. And then Phil finds a frog. That is, oh, that's just too cute. That is just too cute. So Katie mentioned in the comments in our last snail mail video that she sent something. She's like, whoops, my hand slipped and I sent something in the mail. And I was really excited because I was like, oh my gosh, Katie of the awesome gifts. What is she tossed this way this time? So what do we have here? All right, you guys ready for this? Okay, I'm not really peeking yet. I'm doing a good job of not peeking. Okay, check to the package. Okay, what do we have here? All right, let's see. Siri, I'm afraid this has to stop. You are simply too inspiring for this relationship of ours to continue. Oh my goodness, I'm like blushing instantly. I'm afraid this has to stop. You are simply too inspiring for this relationship of ours to continue. I'm going to have to stop to ask you to stop being so awesome. I know that that will be hard, but if this continues, I can't predict where or what these creative urges will manifest. Happy birthday. That's all I wanted to say. I should at least send a card, I thought. It would be it would mean more to make one. Something simple to go with the painting. I can use my new markers. Look what you made me do, Siri. Stop, KK. <laughs> anyway, I was planning with paint. I was playing with painting technique I saw on YouTube. Heard of it? It's um, with a painting technique I saw on YouTube. Heard of it? It's a cool video sharing website. <laughs> you should always check it out. Oh my gosh, Katie! <laughs> and 
and ended up making you something for Wolf Quest. I also knew I should at least write a note to say happy birthday since I forgot that in my last letter. But then all of that happened. Enjoy the presents. Katie B, yeah, the, tan the tiny hat one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Katie. All right, even though Chips is not here, in honor of your, your package, I am going to put it back in my hair. The tiny hat is now going back on my head in honor of your package, Katie. And I'm going to have to just get it out of my hair myself when he comes. And he'll probably, I'm just going to leave it in there until he comes home hours later and be like, okay, I need some help now, Chips. <laughs> and so she has handmade this card, you guys. Oh my goodness. You have now completed your 28th lap around the sun. That is... Mm, let's see, 16 billion, 253 million miles. Yep, yep, oh, she wrote it out on the bottom. I'm sitting here like trying to figure it out in my head and then she wrote it out for me. That is too cool. All right, let's see. Siri, may your 29th journey around our star bring you as much joy and laughter as you could ever wish. May it be filled with kindness and love. And above all, may, it, may an adventure, may it be an adventure that fills you with wonder. From Katie. Hey, this is one of the most amazing things I've ever gotten in my life. This is seriously one of the most amazing things I've ever gotten in my life because that's really what I hope more than anything that the next year is going to be one of the most fantastic of my entire life. This year really has been and that's almost entirely because of you guys and knowing that I have another year to share with you guys. I'm going to do my best, my absolute best, to share the adventures and the happiness and the excitement and just be a good person and just do everything I can. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. Did you see the stars and then the sun? And then on the back it says, remember, we are always traveling. All of life is a journey. Enjoy it and let's take the next lap together. Happy birthday. Oh, Katie. You have handmade one of the most beautiful cards I've ever seen. I don't think it could be, I don't think it could be more, like, uh, it's, it's one of the most meaningful things I've ever gotten, so thank you. And, wow, now I finally looked down. And here we go, this is the painting that she has made for Wolf Quest. I am blown away. Look at that. You guys, everything you guys do. The way that it's just creativity bouncing off creativity, inspiration bouncing off inspiration, and the way we all come together and just make this fantastic community. You guys are amazing. I hope you know that. And I am so grateful to all of you. Thank you guys so much to everybody who sends in mail and beautiful gifts and, and little pieces that add up to changing my life and becoming part of my daily life. And you guys are in my thoughts all day long. I know that it seems kind of silly, but you really, really are. And I just hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. And I hope that our adventures together, if you just can watch videos, if you comment, if you send things in, if we chat, if we don't, whatever happens, I hope you're all happy. And and I just hope that we can have some more fun together. So thank you guys, ah, I'm gonna get all emotional again. Okay, I'm gonna stop now before I start crying. Katie, thank you so much. All of you, thank you so much for everything you have sent my way. I hope you are all having a wonderful time and I cannot wait to share more adventures with you guys. So until next time, guys, I will see you guys later. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>